There's one. Another light bite. Thanks for the fight, bud. Thanks for the fight, bud. There's a the fish. found the bass the past couple days. We found what bait profile they're kind of liking, which is a little TRD. So I'm gonna throw the micro TRD tonight. And this is the deal color. As you can see, it's got some blue hues to it. And kind of like a green pumpkin gray on the top part there. Throwing us on a 15th ounce Ned jig. If all goes well, we can land one of these bigger ones that we've been hooking into. And every time I come out here, because of the rain that we've gotten previously, plus they're getting rain up above us, the river keeps coming up a little bit each time. All right, this spot right here is where I've been hooking into one. Feels like I missed every time I make a cast here. So this is where we're gonna start. My hope is, since they've been seeing that copper truce color I've been throwing, maybe they're getting smart to it. So maybe this deal color catch them off guard, we can hook some more. It's kind of like one of those situations where these fish are not geniuses, but they're also not plum dumb either. Surprisingly, this is the first time I've been snagged here. Whatever I hooked, it's moving, it's coming in. Big old pile of brush. Maybe that would explain what these fish have been attracted to out there. Move their little structure a little closer here. There we go, popped off. Probably bent my hook out. Nope, did not. Maybe I caught just a piece of the wood on it and it actually broke loose. Hook's still tacky, so we're good. Although I am going to move up now because whatever was around here Probably got spooked away from me dragging that in. Goodness, I'm hooking all kinds of trees today. There's one super light bite. go first one this evening probably have maybe 45 minutes to a half hour of daylight so i guess you can consider this a power hour We're trying to get as many bites and fish in as we can before it gets too dark here there's one again hit it pretty hard well this one hit it hard the last one super soft bite Slowly getting a little bit bigger. There we go. This guy's hooked in the tongue, so we're gonna let him go right away. And this lure was pretty far in its mouth. Like I said, it was hooked in the tongue. So I am gonna retie because little sandpaper lips there kind of made a spot on my line. All right, new knot. Let's see if we can get another one from here. There we go, that one crushed it. I cast it down a little bit farther than where I just caught those other two. This guy's putting up one heck of a fight.
That's a nice one there. Again, not a super giant. But that is a beautiful Susquehanna smallmouth there. Perfect hook set right on top of the roof of the mouth. Right. Again, another nice one this evening. Thanks for the fight, bud. I'm going to cast down below where I just casted. Like I said, I was casting up this way, caught a couple, and now I'm casting pretty much straight out in front of me. But these bass, when they school up, they can also kind of be spotty too. I think I'm going to speed fish up through here. Try to run down to the boat launch real quick, make some casts down there too. There's one, another light bite, not a bad one. Man, this guy's a jumper. Just barely had him hooked in the side of the mouth there. I mean, with these bites being so light, it's kind of hard to differentiate between it tapping a rock and the fish has it. I kind of just lift up and if I feel weight on it, again, like I said in my last video, I'm setting a hook just because you never know. Some bass are hitting it pretty hard where the tip of my rod's going down, then the rest of them just slurping it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. that sky down there looks freaking awesome from the sun setting one of the huge pros besides catching fish out of susquehanna seeing some of the views around here all right no more action here just try down river a little bit the fish yeah, it is as soon as it hit the water that feels like a nice one This is a good one. Stay on, stay pinned. Heck yeah. That's a really good one. That's how we end the night right there. I'm good with that. That is a butterball. Look how much he's been eating up. A little fatty. Thanks for the fight, bud. Wasn't sure if this spot would produce or not. There was family down there and a little girl was throwing rocks in the water, but didn't seem to spook away any bass. walk down here spooking some stuff off the bank here I have no idea what it is but anyway guys I'm gonna take a little break from the Ned I'm gonna throw around this skirted it's a 1 8 ounce black jig here and then I have a rabid baits it's a crawfish on there with the black fox hair pinchers I got the rabid baits a while back and I was trying them on a Ned rig I missed some fish but I never really made a video from it so I figured what better pairing than Black pinchers and a black skirt in this jig. You guys probably heard that saying, jigs catch big, so let's see if we can catch a big one with it. Oh, something is stirring up there at the bank too. Oh, something had it right there. Go crushed it. Feels like a decent one. Absolutely hammered it. That's a really good one. There we go. Jigs catching good ones. 
So that did get tapped there. I don't know if this is the same one, but that is a nice one. Good way to start the evening here. Thanks for the fight, bud.